I just bought my first car. Yay. So hello friends and book bays. Welcome back to the channel. Um, for those of you that have been OGs and followed my Vlogmas videos, I briefly mentioned how when I moved here to Colorado that I would need a different car. Well, I wouldn't need a new car, but I would kind of want one <laughs> because the Toyota I have now is a Toyota CHR and it's only a front wheel drive it's not all wheel drive and could i get by driving it in the snow probably i've driven it once in the snow since being here and it was fine but considering i'm from texas and i don't really know how to drive in the snow like i know in my head like what i need to do and stuff but i've never really like done the thing you know what i mean so because I am inexperienced with driving in the snow, I was like, I need an all-wheel drive. And so, since I now have my big girl job, my uncle came with me to Honda, and we struck a deal. <laughs> and I now have a car. I am about to go pick it up. It wasn't ready to be taken the day I got it, but it's going to be ready in about an hour or so. And... We'll do a little car tour. I got a Honda HRV, which is kind of similar to the Toyota I have in the sense that it's a compact SUV because I really strongly prefer SUVs, but I don't like how big they are. So compact SUVs are kind of my thing. Compact versions of things that are usually bigger is my vibe, you know? Like I like compact tote bags i like compact um i don't know what else but i like compact versions of things that are usually big <laughs> so that's why we got that one put on some black girl sunscreen can we talk about the fact this is the matte one i know the regular one is out light but the matte one comes out clear guys i just find that interesting as to how this whole time in life <laughs> we could have been making clear sunscreens for you know the pocs right and we just never did but i'm also like well there are other they're like gel one that's not matte is white so i'm wondering why the default is white and like what did they have to do to make this one clear you know because like I would just assume all black girl sunscreen would be clear then if you can make it clear but since their one that's not matte is still white I'm like hmm so you know <laughs> he don't want to go anymore but we need a car therefore we're gonna go get it this is the fit if you watch my um book shopping vlog then you know i have this same top in like a teal and <laughs> i'm obsessed with it i got it at target like earlier this week i saw that it was on clearance now and so i decided to get the one in white and i think these shorts are from american eagle they're kind of old same tj maxx slides same cardigan from target and i did get a new tote bag from Amazon because it has a zipper all right y'all it is currently dark outside <laughs> so can't really show you the car today I did go to H Mart of course had to but yeah I will show you guys the car tomorrow when there's sun so yeah okay friends it is like 5 p.m. the next day I was super tired, I guess. Um, I had to catch up on some sleep because I woke up at like noon today and then by like 2 p.m. I was taking a nap. <laughs> so, safe to say this day off that I have is a boring one. <laughs> I'll show you the car. I just wanna rant a little bit for like 30 seconds about how I'm so upset that I don't live by an H Mart, like it's an hour away, which once a week is kind of doable. So don't, don't convince me to go once a week to H Mart for groceries, okay? Because I will, <laughs> because number one, I am half Indian, okay? So my daddy 
gonna use some of the stuff that's in there. Number two, all I eat is Asian food. I don't eat really anything else. I love cooking Asian food, all types of Asian food, okay? It doesn't have to just be Indian, but I love Asian food so much. I've just been drinking and eating. I'm pretty sure this is Mexican, but H Mart had this as well. So I've just been like eating and drinking a bunch of Asian stuff. <laughs> I did want to ask somebody if any of y'all have like a Honda HRV. I don't know. What's the point of the trunk button if it won't open for me? <laughs> like I'll click on it and the lights will flash or whatever as if it's going to open it, but it doesn't. So I don't know if the key is broken or if the HRV is just weird like that. So let me know. Like, what's going on with that? Um, Cause my Toyota, it didn't have a trunk opener button. So I don't really care, but I'm just really confused as to why I would have the button if the button wasn't gonna do it. <laughs> so let me know, but let's actually go downstairs and show you the car. Took it outside. Here's the car. I do have it on. Why? I don't know. <laughs> they did some black detailings and they tinted the windows and um, stuff like that. I don't really know. <laughs> Show you my license plate. <laughs> but yeah, it's a HRV. The cargo space is great. I'm not used to it on my Toyota. My Toyota looks pretty much like this car, but there was a lot more space in this car because my Toyota is very weirdly shaped. <laughs> so like this amount of room, I wouldn't have. But my little wheel cover on here you can do random things right there. It's a really nice car and it's pretty high tech. There's the AC and stuff, the honeycomb vents. Let me know down below um, if there's any products out there for honeycomb vents specifically because I had to basically get rid of all my air fresheners because they don't fit the honeycomb stuff. So let me know. I have a sport mode that I'll probably never use because I'm scared of things like that. <laughs> but yeah, this is my car. It is cloth seats, which I know most people like leather, but I actually prefer cloth. Just living in Texas my whole life, summers with leather seats are a no-no for me. And I just like cloth. It's kind of weird to be driving something different because I had my Toyota for like five years. So it's very weird. I really enjoy this car though. Um, I did get it new. I'm really blessed to be able to afford a new car. It didn't make sense to get a used car because the used cars they had was only like a thousand dollars less than a new one. So <laughs> financially it just didn't make sense and the used cars, a lot of them didn't have the high tech stuff. So we did opt for a new um, car. So very happy with my purchase and really blessed and excited to have my own car. I am loving it. Never had a Honda before, always been a Toyota girl, but Hondas and Toyotas pretty much the same thing. Let's be for real. So <laughs> really excited and I love the way it drives. It's really great. That's the car tour. I'm gonna try and like make myself read because I've been kind of in a slump reading wise where I just wanna watch TV. You know, like I don't wanna read anything. I'm still reading Queen of Shadows. I haven't picked it up in like a good five days. <laughs> if you are looking for a car like this, I'd say my main complaint so far is how bright the lights are. When I was driving home from Denver, it started to get dark and I was like, why are my lights so like bright? Do I have my brights on? How do I turn my brights off? I thought for a very long time I had my brights on, but I didn't. They, the lights are just hecka bright, like <laughs> in general. And so like, I hate myself. You know, I hate the people that have really bright lights. And so now I'm one of those people. So I hate that. Um, <laughs> even the lights in this car are so bright. Look, this is fun because I can just touch the light and it turn on. See that? So that's fun. But even those lights are very bright. Toyota was a 2018 CHR. 2018 this is a 2023 so the things that my toyota has that this car doesn't have kind of doesn't make sense to me because it's like 
my Toyota's older than you. What are you doing? You know, but my Toyota, I could, as long as I had my keys on me, I could get out of the car and just like touch the handle it would lock or unlock for me. But this one, I don't think it does that because I tried and it wasn't doing nothing. So I'm actually going to have to like whip my key out, even though it's a push start, I'm going to have to rip, whip my key out to lock or unlock these, this car, which is fine. I'll just have to get used to it, but it is kind of odd <laughs> that my 2018 does it, but this one doesn't. Same thing with the blind spot indicators. I don't have those. I had them on my Toyota but I don't have them on this. This car does have a lot of other things like adaptive cruise control. It has Apple Play um, or Android Play. On the dashboard here, it'll tell me like the speed limit around here somewhere. And so it does have a lot of high tech stuff. It just has like very random things that it doesn't do that I'm kind of used to having because of my Toyota, but it is what it is. Um, I still really enjoy this car and i love it a lot so yeah let's go home and try to read some more queen of shadows maybe even finish queen of shadows since today is just a lazy gloomy day of me being off i just want to be done with this series already i love the series but i'm just tired <laughs> i'm tired of being on the same series <laughs> do y'all hear that it's raining just when i started to force myself to continue reading I literally have only read like a good 10 pages and now it's raining I think it might be hailing to be honest with you let's go check I can't tell it sounds like it's hailing though This little vlog is turning into me trying to get myself out of a book slump <laughs> because I just realized in the month of May, it is currently May 24th, hello, I was, I was listening to Destiny and Sarah's podcast bookmarked, so good, I'm so excited, but it is currently uh, May 24th, as you can see, and on my Goodreads, I have read two books this whole month. Which is fine, except for the fact that I have a literal bookish channel. Um, so, yeah. I mean, it's a very small channel, so it's not like I'm getting paid for it. It's not like it's my job, even though I would love it if it was my job. I'm in pretty much probably the biggest slump I've been in my reading career for a little bit. And it's kind of freaking me out, you know? I, I don't know what to do with myself. Not reading as often as I usually do um all I want to do is watch tv um I've just been procrastinating with finishing queen of shadows and even things on kindle I don't want to read I got like a bunch of things on libby and I just gave them back <laughs> I was like I don't even I don't care I don't want to read it I don't and it's things that I have been waiting for like two months for like a lot of Taylor Jenkins read stuff and for some reason I'm just like yeah I don't really, I don't really want to read it, so take it back. I don't really have any tips on how to get out of a book slump because I haven't really been in one very much and I'm a very disciplined person so if I need to do something I will simply just do it. So I need to just read this book, therefore we're going to go to a coffee shop and we're going to try and finish this book and hopefully however this book ends it will cause me to like devour the next book even though those two are the tandem reading ones so I don't really want to do that um <laughs> but I'm hoping it will at least make me want to get back into reading again because yesterday I literally started crocheting again because I wanted to do anything but read and I haven't picked up my crocheting stuff in like a month um so yeah I was literally like I should make an Etsy shop of me crocheting <laughs> All I've ever made is a beanie. I need to calm down with that. But yeah, so we'll see. We're going to go to a coffee shop. I've never been to this one before. I have about 150-ish pages of Queen of Shadows left. Really, I'm really rooting for Sarah to get me out of this slump. I just want... I think the thing is, I really want more Dorian POVs. Like, I get why there's not that many. 
but I don't know. I feel like his point of views are the ones that are the most intriguing to me right now. Elites, just because I really like Elite. I love Elite so much, so I want more of them. <laughs> I want more of Elite and Dorian POVs, and that's pretty much it. Because if I get Elite, then I get Malins, kind of. So, whatever. But anyways. Anyways, let us go. You know, these glasses are kind of hitting. I don't need prescription glasses. These are blue light glasses. But should I be one of those girlies that wears glasses even though she doesn't need them? Or was that very like 2016? <laughs> because I, you can't tell me. You can't tell me right now that I don't look good with these on right now. Okay. It's the fact that I am the only one in my immediate family that doesn't need glasses and here I am wearing them still. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I look pretty cute. You can't convince me I don't. Anyways, let's freaking go. So here's the fit wearing my emotional support slides. <laughs> These are like my favorite slides ever. If I can avoid wearing sneakers, I will, okay? The act of putting on socks and then putting on shoes right after, it's just not it for me. I don't know why, but I just can't do it. And so I strongly prefer slides. But this top, um, I think it's kind of old. It's from Maurice's. I used to work there, so I had a discount. Jeans are from Target. I cut the ends off like I usually do because I'm short. I am only 4 foot 11 for those of you that are wondering. I don't know how tall I am. And perceived on the internet but yeah I'm only four foot eleven so <laughs> I did have to cut the pants cardigan I think I wore this cardigan uh, when I picked up my car it's the same one from Target uh, got the big old bag from Amazon and my computer in here because I might do some editing at the coffee shop depending on how it goes with reading but yeah shop did find myself at a bookstore <laughs> despite the slump I'm in you know felt like what would get me out of a book slump maybe getting more books you know <laughs> I did get two books while I was there stalking Jack the Ripper and hunting Prince Dracula I think these got really popular when they first came out it's been a hot minute now but I don't know I hear the thunder it's currently is sprinkling it's not like full-on raining but it got really gloomy very quickly and I'm so excited to keep reading because of that so honestly to get out of the book slump just make it rain <laughs> figure out a way to contact mother nature ask Jesus to make it rain and maybe you'll get in the mood I don't know but <laughs> so I did get these two books mainly because I was like ooh. It's giving, I don't know anything of what this is about, but it's giving fall, it's giving dark academia, even though we're literally on the brink of summer and I'm here like, ooh, <laughs> fall vibes. I should be getting like summer, summer cute little romance books or something, but here I am getting stocking and hunting books. But anyways, yeah, so that's what I got at the bookstore. Got some yarn. Since I told you guys I was in my crocheting era again for like the third time this year <laughs> so yeah um, I want to make like a little car ornament of tulips or a bee since my car has the honeycomb vents I thought making a bee would be like like duh you know <laughs> guys help me name the car in the comments i always name my cars and then never refer to them as the name that they are <laughs> like my first car was a ruby red camry that was the least for some reason i don't know why we did that but we did and <laughs> um so i named that one ruby wasn't very original 
obviously. And then the Toyota um, CHR that I had, I named her Stella just because she gave Stella vibes to me. I don't know. <laughs> and then never referred to her as Stella. Well, I need a name that I will never call my car for this one. I'm, I'm thinking Rachel. What do we think? Does Rachel sound like the move? For the Honda is, is it giving Rachel let me know in the comments down below I have about a hundred pages left of Queen of Shadows I think I read a good 60 ish pages at the coffee shop and I'm getting really into it again so hopefully depending on how this ends I might want to jump straight into Empire of Storm and then having to do the tandem reading for Tower of Dawn will probably make me get in a slump again. But <laughs> it is what it is. I'll just read some books in between while I'm reading that. But I think the rain, the last couple pages of a Sarah J Mass book and book shopping at a local used bookstore. I think that's the key. <laughs> to getting out of a book slump maybe possibly I don't know I don't want to speak too soon <laughs> I don't want to turn off the camera and then instantly be like I'm gonna watch tv <laughs> you know so we'll see I'll give you guys a final update of when I finish this book and then that will probably be the end of the video because now this video has gotten very long when it could have just been like a 10 minute here's a car vlog video <laughs> I really like how I look today <laughs> Thunder is thundering, okay? We talk about how Thor is the god of thunder, but then every time he does like power stuff, it's lightning. Can we talk about that for a second? Because I don't understand. <laughs> Someone tried to like tell me like, oh, but it's like, it's like the same thing. Like, no, it's not. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm hearing a bunch of thunder. I ain't seeing no lightning right now. Like they can do the thing without both being involved, you know, like it can thunder without the lightning and it can lightning without the thunder. So I just, I don't get it. Anyways, <laughs> I'm gonna keep on reading this. But, anyways, wow, I really, oh, I'm sorry, I can't get over how nice I look with these glasses, <laughs> because now I don't want to take them off, because, like, like, she's cute, or whatever, but she's giving, like, a six, right? You put these on, she's an eight, you know? She's a nerdy eight, and I like it. <laughs> anyways. Maybe I'm thinking too highly of myself. Maybe this is like a three. <laughs> and then this is like a six. A solid six. I don't know. Um, but yeah. I'm going to end this because I, I could just keep talking about random crap forever. So it's bye. Guys, I finished the book and I was reading it while sitting on the floor this whole time. Mainly because I didn't want to change out of my outside clothes. But I also don't like sitting on my bed in my outside clothes. So I laid on the floor, <laughs> but I did finish it and I gave it 4.5 stars. So good. The vlog for my Throne of Glass series should be out after this video. So subscribe to the channel so you can see my reactions to the last half of the series. That's what I'm filming currently. There wasn't a massive cliffhanger or anything, but reading this definitely made me like really excited to read the next book. So I feel like the reading slump has been taken care of <laughs> the reading slump has come to a close maybe possibly hopefully i don't know we got a tandem read empire of storm and tower of dawn now so we'll see how that goes we'll see if i love that or hate that i've never tandem read to i've never tandem read anything i think i'm going to now eat <laughs> And I'm gonna like look up some crochet tutorials and edit this video and call it a day and then go to work tomorrow. Boo. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed the car slash getting out of my reading slump vlog. This was a days in my life vlog, I guess, without me realizing that that's what I was doing. <laughs> so it's not that very well structured. So apologies for that. But I think I'm going to end the video here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe. Comment what 
I should name my Honda. I'm going with Rachel, but I can be persuaded to other things. <laughs> and if you made it to the end of this video, also comment, comment a car emoji, I guess, actually. <laughs> so yeah, comment that, follow me on my socials, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Meet me on the street lights Meet me where the lights fade out Tell me what it feels like